welcome to the Badashu Museum's Campanus Shoebox. My name is Sue. Today you will be exploring footprints in two ways, one as a stamp and the other in clay. These activities are inspired by the current collection titled All About Shoes. Please come by to see the collection. When we step on the ground, we make marks. Our own feet, animal feet, machines and shoes can leave different impressions. The bottom of the shoe, called the sole, can be designed in many ways. For example, during the Vietnam War, also known as the Second Indochina War or the Resistance War against America, the U.S. military created the reconnaissance boot that would leave footprints of a Vietnamese fighter rather than an American one. Sometimes animals also need footwear, such as a recovery boot for an injured cow. Animals also leave distinctive footprints. These are the materials for an animal footprint cardboard and or foam sheets, pencil or marker, glue or tape, string, ribbon or rope, hole punch, scissors, large paper for footprints, a plate for paint, a paint roller or a paintbrush, as well as paint. What type of footprint do you want to create? Do you want to pretend to be something or someone else? An animal, creature, machine, or different person? Take a look at some ideas. Choose a footprint you want to create. I'm choosing to be a bear. If you're making a footprint larger than your shoe, use cardboard. If the footprint is smaller, also use foam. With a pencil or marker, draw the outline on your foam or cardboard. Cut out the footprint using scissors. Cut out cardboard pieces to fit your footprint, leaving a few centimeters on each side. Glue the foam footprint on the cardboard. Let the glue dry. Repeat for the other foot. Once the glue is dry, either attach cardboard or string straps. For the cardboard straps, cut 5 cm wide straps with scissors. Attach one end to your footprint using glue or tape. Place your feet on your footprint to measure how long the strap has to be to make a tight fit. Attach the other side using glue or tape and cut off the excess. If you're using string, use your hole punch to make two holes on each side. Make sure the holes are not too close to the edge. Thread a piece of string through each of the holes and tie it. You can tie the strings together to keep the footprint in place. Repeat these steps for the other side. Once you're done making the footprint, you can test them out using paint or on the beach or in the playground sand. To use paint, lay out a large piece of paper and pour a little bit of paint on a plate. You can use a paint roller or a large brush to make a thin layer. Put your new footprint in the paint, then take a walk on the paper. You can also paint directly on the bottom, but be careful, you do not want to get paint everywhere. The first documented human steps were in volcanic ash 3.6 million years ago. Early hominid footprints were discovered by Mary Leakey in Laetoli, Tanzania in 1976. There's even a copy of it in the museum. We'll be making footprints or sole prints in salto. Salto materials. One cup of all-purpose flour, half a cup of salt, half a cup of salt water, measuring cups, plastic mixing bowl, rolling pin or bottle, aluminum foil or plastic wrap, sealer or craft varnish, and a plastic knife. In the mixing bowl, mix the flour and salt. Add the water slowly and keep on mixing. Once the water is added, knead the dough for a couple of minutes. Add some flour if the mixture is too wet. And make a ball with your clay. Put plastic wrap or aluminum foil down. And then using a rolling pin or bottle, roll your clay in an oval shape that is a little bigger than your foot. Sprinkle some flour on the top so your foot doesn't stick. Take your first step into the clay. Be careful not to press too hard or your foot will go through. 
You can trim the edges with a plastic knife. Let your clay dry for a couple days, then flip it over carefully to let the other side dry. You can decorate and seal it if you'd like. I decided to put some craft varnish to protect it. If you don't want to wait for the clay to air dry, you can ask an adult to put it in the oven at 150 degrees for a couple of hours. If you have shoes with an interesting sole, you can also use the clay to capture it. Thank you for joining us for this week's activity. Please share your footprints with us by tagging us at Badashu Museum or using these hashtags. Also, check out our website at badashumuseum.ca for upcoming events and exhibitions. Like and subscribe if you like these videos. I'll see you next week. Bye.